All right. So now we're going to do another uh, special challenge of terraforming Mars. This one, you are supposed to terraform the whole planet in one generation. So I have effectively bought every card from the starting hand to generation 14. And that's why I have uh, 62 cards in hand. And now I'm going to terraform the entire planet starting from there. So I'm going to pull the log. You can see that I have passed in every generation. So nothing has occurred. So it is now generation 14. I have 26 mega credits and 20 steel. Can I terraform it and get a high score? Yes, I can. So first uh, do Earth Office. So that allows me to now play Earth Catapult. With Earth Catapult down, I'm going to go ahead and play Media Group because I don't have enough money left to go for the Research Outpost effectively at this point. With Media Group down, Investment Loan is free and gives me an extra $3 back. Now I can play Hired Raiders and take the steal. Now I can play Advanced Alloys. That allows me to get Research Outpost down for just one mega credit. Now I can Olympus Conference. This will allow all the science tags I play uh, to draw me half a card. Viral Enhancers, very important for all the future animal and plant cards and microbe cards that we're going to play. Indentured Workers. Basically, it gives me a lot of money back, so I can then play Quantum Extractor. With Quantum Extractor down, I can now play Mass Converter. Draws me a card. Now I can Optimal Aero Breaking. Now I can import a GHG. Now with the Optimal Aero Breaking and Interplanetary Cinematics and Media Group, I get a bunch of money back every time I play a space event. Beautiful. Alright, now I'm going to play Solar Wind Power. Now that I've gotten a bunch of uh, money back, I, that's my last science tag I needed to afford to play Anti Grav Technology. Now I'm going to play Space Station. You might ask, why Space Station? For why not Space Station first? It really doesn't matter because Anti Grav reduces Space Station, so it's all a wash. Mineral Deposit next. Get my steel and the money back from the event. Mining Expedition is the next one. More steel and it, more importantly an oxygen bump. The oxygen bump is very important because I need to now play Strip Mine to get up to 3% oxygen. With 3% oxygen I can now play Decomposers. Which gets me some microbes. Now I'm going to go ahead and play Colonizer Training Camp so I don't forget about it. Protected Valley is the next card. Pay for it and place it over here on this right side. That allows me to get over there very easily. Next up, Virus. Take away some animals from the computer. Gets me money back and it's a microbe so it gets added on to decomposers there and it gets me a plant as well. Ecological zone up here for the steel. I would like to get an ocean down, but really, uh, it is not effective because I'd have to put Arctic algae down uh, to get the benefit from putting the ocean down, and I'd miss out on getting the uh, plants onto the ecological zone if I did that. So it's kind of a wash. Uh, so now I need to sell some of the extra cards that I've drawn. So you'll notice that I have some duplicates here because uh, I drew them and I can't sell the duplicates or else it'll sell my other cards too, which kind of leaves me with just having to sell a few here. It's unfortunate, but it's the way that the game works. So now, uh, shuttles. Wait, not shuttles. Um, <laughs> Arctic algae. Jeez. Put the plants down here on the Pavismons for the Titanium. That gets me up to Shuttles, so I can play Shuttles now. Got $2, but it only costs $1 for Asteroid.
And as you can see, I get a massive $8 back for every space event I play. So now comes big uh, asteroid. Get that sweet titanium back. Get the money, get the heat. Oh yeah. Comets next. Put the ocean down for the titanium. Plus our technology gives me the plants. Look at those rebates. Towing a comet. I'm going to place the ocean right here because I want to curve around to give room for my plants to go. Now that I'm at 6%, uh, actually, first I'll do convoy from Europa. Nice. Now, special design, since I'm at 6%, to let me play herbivores. Gets buffed by uh, my viral enhancers and also feeds into ecological zone and decomposers. Very synergistic. Now, giant ice asteroid is going to come down and fill in these oceans over here. place that there. So I want to be careful that I do not go too high on the oxygen because I need to afford Capola City. So let's go ahead and play those. So first get down the rovers so I get money back for every city I play. That'll help pay for itself along with the victory point it gets me. Now we get to Deimos down. Let's go ahead and increase our heat some. Go ahead and put down some plants. Nice. Now I'm gonna lava flows over here for the card. I don't want to block near my uh, city necessarily. So I get Notion. I'll go ahead and place it there. So now, let's see. Need to think about selling some of my cards here, but it can wait. Uh, Nitrogen Rich Asteroid is the next uh, play. Gets me up to four plant production, which is not so important as in the regular game, but it will afford me another greenery later on. Go ahead and increase the heat there. All right, now I can afford my fish. My little fishies are gonna get me a bunch of points here with viral enhancers buffing it, going for the decomposers and the ecological zone. There you go. Imported nitrogen. Goes to the decomposers on the microbes, and the fish get the animals. Imported hydrogen. Place it right there. I want the animals, and I want the animals to go on the fish. Next up is ice cap melting. Uh, go for the steel. Since that's worth uh, six dollars to us, it's better than the two dollar adjacency right there, right now. Uh, go ahead and play the interstellar colony ship. CEO's favorite project to put some more fish down. Large convoy. Now I'm going to go for the adjacency here. I want the animals to go on the fish. There's 11 points on fish. Now, 
Advanced Ecosystems. Gets me three uh, plants from the Viral Enhancers. Then it gets me a victory point onto the Decomposers and a victory point onto the Ecological Zone. Now then, it's time to play Immigrant City. Which I'm going to place right here. Now I can play the capital. Place it into this nice little nook right there next to the neutral greenery. Let's go ahead and place this uh, greenery right there. Go ahead and increase the heat. Alright, so now I play Noctis City. Again, my rover's gonna give me some money back when I play this. Now I play my mangrove. Right next to Noctis City. Need to get up to 12% to play, uh... Open city, so I'll place that greenery there. Now I open city, paying for, with my last steal. Now I urbanized the area, which goes right there. Now I'm going to local heat trapping. Get the animals, put them on fish. I now have 13 victory points from fish. Ridiculous. Commercial district is next. Going to place it right there. Hmm, I almost forgot I need to make sure that... Uh, I go here to get that plant. I need to go here to get the steel. There we go. Now I play plantation. Doesn't really matter. Uh, right? Yeah. Doesn't really matter, but I'll go ahead and play it there. Alright, so now that I've went ahead and played a bunch of my events, let's go ahead and sell all these cards that I've drawn so far. Goodbye to those nine cards. So now I'm going to deep well heating. And that completes the terraform. Now I'm going to gene repair. Then I'm going to play greenhouses. Then I'm going to media archives. Get me 25. Then I'm going to do a standard project greenery. Place it right there. And as you can see, I only have $5 left, so that's about as optimized as you can get it, I think, with this current strategy. So for there I pass, the forward production comes in, getting me one more. It doesn't really matter where I place it, there's no multiple city spot. Uh, so I'll just place it right there, around Noctis. And that gets me... the end of the game. So let's see what I end up with. 158. Oh, 159? <laughs> well, that was weird. You saw that there. <laughs> it says 159 there. Well, that's, 
uh, interesting that it differed like that, but 159 was the score I was expecting. Let's double check here. 62, uh, that is 38, so that's 100, and then terraforming 59. So yeah, 159 is the proper score. I don't know why it showed 158 there, but uh, cool. 159 in one generation with cards, so I'm pretty happy with that. Well, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.